Hey, Budget Squad, it's Yolanda, your financial concierge. And today I wanted to come and talk about the cash envelope system. So I wanted to kind of show you how I use it, how I use the system and what the purpose is for. So let's get started. The cash envelope system is just that. It's a set of envelopes that you use and put your cash into for specific purposes. So I'm going to talk about today my envelope system and actually show you how and what I do to fill my system. <clears throat> so first of all, I have a set of four envelopes. I don't use this one. <clears throat> so I have, a, I have four envelopes here and you can have as many envelopes as you want. And the, what I have my envelope set for, <clears throat> the, the goals that I have my envelope set for, you may have something different. So what I have, the first envelope I have for is car registration. So every year, you know, we have to renew our tags so that we won't ride dirty. So I, what I do is instead of pulling that amount out at one time, I plan for it with um, my cash envelope system. So my, my registration is due in August of every year. So about April, I begin to fund my envelope each month on April, May, June, and July. And then I can just send in, um, send in to Secretary of State for my tags. The next envelope that I have is furniture. So what I'm doing with this, um, I want to purchase a new bedroom set. So instead of um, using credit cards or, you know, or opening up a new account, I'm planning for my furniture purchase by using my cash envelope system. <clears throat> this one right here is blank. So I haven't decided what I'm going to use this one for. Um, this one <clears throat> is, you probably can't see this. It's the $5 emergency fund. So the purpose of this is this envelope is every time I am out shopping or every time I have a $5 bill, I, I won't spend it. I'll, it'll go in here. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take the cash that I have on hand and I'm going to actually show you how I fund my envelopes. Now, what I typically do is I have line items in my budget already prepared for my car registration, my furniture, my emergency fund, um, investments, things of that sort. So what I'll do is every time I'm paid, <clears throat> I'll take that dollar amount out of my account and then I come here to my envelopes and I fill my envelopes. So at the end of the month, what I will do is take the money that I've accumulated in my envelopes and go and put it into um, the designated bank accounts. And that once it hits the envelopes and once it hit those accounts, it's not to be touched. So for example, this one right here was my $5 challenge emergency fund. This is basically going to help me. It's just a way to help me save for my emergency fund or save into my emergency fund. So I have a bank account that is specifically for my emergency fund. It's not for shopping, it's not for groceries, it's not for bills, it's, it's just strictly to be um, deposited in there and waiting for an emergency, whatever that emergency is. So once it hits the envelope, the, the next place that it will go, the money will go is into that bank account. So, and what I do is I'll use these for the entire, I'll fill them up for the entire month and then I'll go deposit the money in the bank. So today, what we're going to do <clears throat> is actually take the cash that I have on hand and it's not that much. So even though it's not that much, I still wanted to take the opportunity to show you what I do and how I fund my envelopes. And I thought this would be the perfect time to do it. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, and I've got one $5 bill. So because I'm not spending any $5 bills, I'm going to put it into my $5 envelope, my emergency fund challenge. 
okay and it's going to go in here with the other with the other money that i have in here and it's going to remain here until the end of the month so the beginning of may i'll take the money out and go put it into my emergency fund account so that's this envelope and what i usually do is i'll put the date that i filled my envelope so 4 25 20 and then i put five dollars in here so it's not much but it's more than what i had and it's going to help me you know it's going to help increase my emergency fund so i'll fill it out and on here on on my envelope it has the payment amount the deposit amount the balance so i'll just go ahead and fill out my envelope and then that way when i take the money out i'll know what's going into my account so that one is done now for let's fill the car registration so what i'm going to do because this is the only amount i didn't have um i'm doing this outside of my pay so this is just like extra money that i had extra cash that i had so it's not the amount that i had in my budget it's extra so i'm still going to take some money out and put into my envelope even though it's you know it wasn't planned a planned envelope day from my pay period which is better for me so i am going to take twenty dollars and i'm going to fill my car registration envelope so again what we're going to do is put the date we're going to fill our envelope out 425 and then i put 20 dollars in and fill it out there's my balance and my envelope is done okay so now what i'm going to do i've got 40 dollars i'm going to put 40 dollars into let's put 50 into my furniture account so this is going to go towards my my bedroom furniture so i'm going to fill this envelope out so i put 50 okay so now I've got my cash envelopes filled and what I have to do for this one is basically determine what my goal is. It could be for traveling or it could be, you know, just savings or whatever it is. So I haven't decided what this one is going to be for. And like I said, this is the perfect example of, you know, um, you just to show you, you can have as many as you want or you can just have one. It's all up to you. And it just basically depends on what your saving goals are. And now if money, the cash envelope system is not for your bills. It's not for those regular monthly expenses that you'll have, like, you know, your mortgage, your rent, your utilities. It's not for that. That Those items should be in your budget and you should already have those allotted out. And if anybody has worked with me before, um, you know, where I prepare your customized budget for you, you'll know the first thing that I talk about or that I ask you to complete is your financial goals worksheet. And that has nothing to do with your budget, with your um, expenses that you have on a regular monthly basis. So your financial goals worksheet can be whatever it is that you want. If you want to travel, if you want to save towards, you know, retirement, if you want to save for furniture like I have, if you want to save for a new car, it, anything, um, if you want to save towards jewelry or anything you want to do, that's, that's where these come in handy. So what I do, like I said, and I wanted to show you, you can have as many as you want or you can have as, uh, one. You can have one or two. So what I do, once I fund my envelopes, okay, so I've got my envelopes until the end of the month. They're going to stay here. And then when I have additional cash, I'll come back again and I'll do the exact same thing. So then once I fund it, I put them away. So I am all done. And thank you for joining me on another episode of the Coins Coffee and Coins. And see you the next time.